let's see another um, second order differential equation but this time again including conditions all right let's let's see how we can solve this all right so first is first please look up look up look up first is first how do we solve this question what do we do um first is first if i look at this we are taking y prime to be what there dy dx We're taking y prime to be equal to dy dx and y prime prime to be equal to what there d squared y by what there dx squared my first task is to put put y as equal to exponential mx that's my first task let's differentiate this y prime which is my first differential differentiate exponential mx we said differentiate the power here if i differentiate mx i'll get m use m to multiply this it becomes m exponential mx let's get y prime prime for y prime prime again come to this this is a constant m is a constant so allow it focus on exponential mx to differentiate this we said focus on the power here if i differentiate exponential mx you get m as your value of course use m to multiply all of this so m times m gives you m squared exponential mx of course as we said earlier these are constants so you'd always have these values okay so what next there next task substitute so substituting substituting what do i have starting from here y prime prime here's your value you have m squared exponential mx minus 4 so minus 4 into y prime y prime is m exponential mx plus 4 so plus 4 into y y is exponential mx it's equal to zero so it's equal to zero so you have this okay what next let's expand this expand this i have m squared exponential mx minus 4m exponential mx plus this and this 4 exponential mx is equal to zero i have this all right at this point now of course my next task factorize mx so mx factorize exponential mx so this one is off factorize this factorize this so what do i have there i have this one first which is m squared then minus 4m minus 4m then this one here plus 4 or into exponential mx this is equal to what there zero you have this here's my quadratic auxiliary equation what next you equate this this quadratic equation equate to zero so i'm having m squared minus 4m plus 4 as equal to zero please use calculator give me this answer please so you have that if i use calculator to punch this you have that of course i, I should have two answers what's the, what's the value of the first root two what's the value of the second root what do you have there you still have two all right so if you solve this product equation you observe that it's what there a repeated root um kind of root okay so let's get the linearly independent solution the linearly independent solution is given by what there and uh, first is y1 y1 is equal to what there exponential m1x what's m1 2 it becomes m1 2 times x and also y2 is equal to what there exponential m2x that's 2 times x this would always vary depending on the kind of roots when the roots are the same this is what i will have right proceeding let's get the general uh, solution the general solution the general solution is given by y of x 
course a function in terms of x is equal to the first you have is c1 y1 which is c1 times the value of y1 which is what there exponential 2x plus c2 y2 or no c2 then times x times the value of what there y2 that's exponential 2x this of course this x is being added only if i have what there equal roots if i have real roots i will not add that so please take notes so i have this basically this becomes the general solution of the second order differential equation but i'm not done yet i'm not done uh, let's use the conditions we'll use this condition using using the conditions y of 0 equal to 5 and y prime of 0 equal to 3 to get c1 to get c1 and c2 how do i do that um so let's start with this let's let's start with this one here let's call this equation one equation one so the first we have to do is this you say um four four this one here y of zero equal to five this simply means that at x equal to zero at x equal to zero y is equal to five all right this simply means at x equal to zero y equal to five so let's solve this Right, let's substitute. Substitute. Substituting. Subs. T. Tuting. Into. Equation 1. If I put that into 1, what do I have there? Y is 5. So all of this, Y of X or Y, the same thing, is 5. So you're having the 5. 5 is equal to c1 times what there exponential 2x that's exponential 2 times x what's the value of x there so the x is equal to zero so this times zero okay plus c2 so plus c2 plus c2 into x that's this one here x what's the value of x there zero that becomes 0 into exponential 2x that's 2 times x is 0 all right this is 0 this is 0 so what do i get there from here it's easy to see that this is 5 is equal to c1 exponential 2 times 0 is 0 exponential 0 gives you what there 1 plus c2 times well don't stress yourself zero times this would surely give you zero okay so i have that five is equal to c1 times one gives you what there c1 plus c2 times zero gives you what there zero from here we can say that c1 is equal to what there five we've got the value for c1 once we get the value of c2 we have to use the second condition and second condition implies that y prime of zero so i can't impute this into y i have to use what there y prime let's find y prime how do you get y prime differentiate y prime is equal to to get y prime you have to differentiate the value of what there y of x so that's y prime let's differentiate this first things first c1 is a constant keep it pending differentiate exponential 2x to differentiate exponential 2x we've said the idea the idea here is simple differentiate 2x what do you get there 2 
use 2 to multiply this. So 2 times this, what do you have there? It becomes 2C1 exponential what there? 2X. That's for this. Alright? Those differentiate the part here. Differentiate 2X with respect to X, you have 2. Use that 2 to multiply all of this. That's it. Plus, this is where it gets tricky. Differentiate this, what do you get? What this will give you? What is C to 2X? What is C to 2X? Differentiate this, what do you have? And this is why I had to bring up this example. It's tricky here. That's not correct. That's why I had to do this one particularly. This one here, I could ignore C1. Why? C1 is a constant. Why is C1 a constant? C1 does not have X attached to it. But in this case, C2 has X attached to it. So you can't ignore that. So how do you differentiate this? It now becomes C2X, this one here, multiplying this. You have two different X steps. First one is C2X. Second one is exponential 2X. So whenever you have two terms multiplying, what do you use there? Product true. Product true. So this one becomes a product true differentiation. That's why I have to bring this one up. Because product true. What's product true differentiation? V du dx plus what there? U dv dx. In a layman's concept, we are calling this U. We are calling this V. All right, let's use product true. This is year two. Let me start right. You should know what to do. Year two, V. Write out V first. What's V here? So, using product true for the other one, then it comes V exponential 2x. This is V. Let's get du dx. Du dx means differentiate this with respect to x. If I differentiate a constant and x, it gives you what there? That constant. In this case, what's the constant there? C2. So, this into C2. V du dx plus. Let's get u. What's the value of u here? C2x plus C2x. Next up, dv dx. dv dx means differentiate v with respect to x. If I differentiate exponential 2x, what do I get there? 2 exponential 2x. So it becomes... This becomes 2 exponential 2x. This is why I had to solve this question to show you this thing. I knew that you guys would miss this thing. I knew it. So I have to solve this one again. So see how this thing can be very tricky. Just open your eyes very well, you miss it. All right, let's simplify this. You have this as y prime. And please, oh, please, please, please. Whenever you have variables and a number, it's always the number first. I don't know what you meant by C2, 2x. What is that? The number goes out first. So this becomes what there? 2 C1 exponential 2x plus C2 exponential 2x plus 2 C2 x or 2 x C2. Anyone? All right? Then exponential over there, 2x. Let's bring in the condition. The condition was uh, y prime of, of what? Check. Of 0, it's equal to 3. What does this mean? It means that at x equal to 0, that y prime is equal to what there? 3. At x equal to 0, y prime equal to 3. Again, 2, we have the value for what there? C1. Also, also, we have that C1 is equal to what? 5. Substituting, what do I have there? Y prime is equal to 2 times C1. Sorry. What's Y prime again? 3. Okay. Y prime is 3. That's this. It's equal to 2 times C1. C1 is 5. Exponential, exponential, 2x. 2 times x is what there? 0. Plus c2. We don't have a value. So c2, exponential, 2x. 2 times, what's x there? 0. 
plus 2 C2. C2, we don't have a value. Times x. x is 0. Then exponential 2 times x. x is 0. So we have this. What do I have here? 3. It's equal to 2 times 5. I have 10 into exponential 2 times 0. 0. Exponential 0 is what there? 1 plus c2 into exponential 2 times 0 is 0. Exponential 0 is what there? 1 plus 2 into, don't go stress. This is 2 times 0 gives you what there? 0 is off. Don't stress. Plus 0. What do I have here? 3 is equal to 10 times 1, 10. Plus C2 times 1 is what there? C2. From here, we can get the value of C2. Right? Move this on over here. So 3 minus 10 is equal to C2. What do you have here? Minus 7 is equal to what there? C2. We've gotten C1 as 5. Gotten C2 as minus 7. Let's impute values. Let's impute values. Uh, give me back, go, go back to equation 1. In equation 1, you had that y of x is equal to what there? C1, which is what there? Okay, let, let, let me write this down first. C1 exponential what? 2x plus C2x exponential 2x. Now, let's put in values. You have that y of x is equal to what? C1? 5. Exponential 2x plus c2. C2 is minus 7, right? Minus 7 plus minus 7 into x exponential 2x. Simplify this. What do you have there? You have the y of x is equal to 5 exponential 2x plus minus minus 7 x exponential to x so guys this becomes the answer to this becomes the general solution and the answer to the question so you have this all right so that's it the major thing in this particular one is to remember that this part is what there product true all right don't forget that so that's how we solve this question please but let me know any question any question no. All right. Let's look at the next thing again, please. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the differential equations made easy course. Both links in video description.